Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of permutations and combinations. Let's see the question first. Now in the question, they are telling us that consider four boxes. So basically there are four boxes. And then they are telling us in which each of the box contains three red and two blue balls. So three red in each box. And in each of the boxes, I have two blue balls. Right. So basically, total we have 20 balls. And they are telling us, assume that all 20 balls are distinct, so they are not identical. And further, they are telling us in how many ways I can choose 10 balls from this 20 balls. So we need to choose 10 balls such that from every box, I should at least contain or select one red and one blue ball. So from every box, we should have at least one red and one blue ball. And we need to select 10 balls out of this 20 balls. So let's see how many ways we can do this. So first thing I can have is case one. There can be many cases in this. Let's consider all the cases. Now I'll draw the four boxes again because it's easier for us to understand them. I had four boxes and I had three red balls and I had two. So this were my 20 balls. First case, when I have to select 10 out of this 20 balls, I can have four balls chosen from one of the four bags and from the other remaining bags, I can have two balls chosen. So this will be my first case that I can select four balls from one particular bag, right? So first of all, if I see the combination out of four bags, I can select one bag from which I will pick out four balls and from the remaining three bags, so 3C3, I'll pick two balls each, right? Further, when I have, let's say, four balls picked up from the first box, those four balls can have the possibilities that it can have three red and one blue ball or it can have two red and two balls, right? So this is how the four balls can be picked. So if I have the first case, it can be three red and one blue. So out of three red, I am picking three red. So three C three. And out of two blues, I am picking one blue. So two C one. Or it can be two red and two blue. Means out of three reds, I can pick two reds. And out of two blues, I can pick two blues. Once I have done this selection of four balls, from others, I need two balls. And we already know that we need at least one red and one blue ball from each of the boxes. So if I need two balls from each of the bags, it has to be one red and one blue, right? So if I take that out from each of them, I can have from the second bag, three C one into from the two balls, I'll select one, two. Same with the third bag from three red, one red, and from two blues, one blue. Same from the fourth bag as well, three C1 and two blues. Right? So now if I see how many cases I have, four C1 is four, three C3, that is one. Here again, three C3 is one, two C1 is three C2, if you see it is again three, two C2 is again one. Here, if I see 3C1, that is again 3 and 2. Now, if I see all of these brackets are same, right? So, if they are multiplied, basically it becomes the cube of the whole thing. So, I can directly write 3 into 2 cube. So, that makes it 4. This becomes 2 plus 3 and 6 cube. So, if I solve this, what I get? 4 into 5 into 6 cube, that is 2 plus 6. 
So basically it becomes 216 into 20, that is 0. And 216 into 2, that is 432. So 4320 ways in the first case. Now let's see the second case, wherein I can have three red balls chosen from any two bags. And from the remaining two bags, I will have two balls chosen. Let's do that as well. So second case now, let's see that. So if we see the second case, let's do that as well. Case two. Now in case two, again, I'll draw those good bags. So it becomes easier for us to understand. I have again the four boxes with me where each box contains three red balls and two blue balls. So two. Now again, I have to pick 10 out of 20 balls. Now I can have the case wherein I can pick three balls from any two bags out of four and the remaining two balls can have two each. So that is also a combination possible where I can have 10 balls out of 20. So let's understand in the second case, what will be the total number of ways. So first of all, if I talk about the total ways to select two bags in which I can have three balls each. So out of four bags, I can have two such bags where I can have three balls selected. And the remaining two bags will be selected, which will have two balls each, right? So 4C2, in which I can select two out of four bags, and then the remaining two bags are selected further. Now let's talk about the selection of balls. Now when I'm selecting three balls from this bag also and this bag also, there is a possibility that it can be two red and one blue, or it can be one red and two blue, right? Because I need to select at least one red and one blue, so I can have only this possibilities. Again, from this three balls which I'm selecting, I can have again two red and one blue, or I can have one red and right. So let's take this also into consideration. So from the let's say first bag, if I have two red and one blue, so out of three red, I'm selecting two red, and out of two blues, I'm selecting one blue. Or it can be out of three red, I'm selecting one red. And from the remaining two, I'm selecting both of those blue balls. Right. Second bag also has the same idea as the first bag. So you will have the same combinations 3C2 into 2C1 plus 3C1 into 2C2. Right. Further, I just need to select two balls from the remaining two bags. So out of three red, I'm selecting one. And out of two blues, I'm selecting one. Same for the last bag as well. So now if I see what I get. 4C2, that is six. 2C2, that is one. Here if you see, you have this and this bracket same. So basically it becomes the square of the whole thing. So whatever answers we get, we just square them. And for the remaining two brackets also, if you see, they are same. So whatever you get, you just square. So if I solve this bracket first, 3C1 is 3 and 2C1 is 2. So you get 3 into 2. Let's solve this. 3C2, that is 3 again. 2C1 is 2. 3C1 is again 3. 2C2 is 1. So what do you get? 6 and 2. This becomes 6 plus 3. That is 9 square. This becomes 6 square. So basically it becomes 6 into 6 square, that is 6 cube. 6 cube is 216. That should be multiplied with 81 because 9 square is 81. So if I just find the multiplication, 216 into 81. So it is 216 and 0. 86 is 48. 818. 82s are 16. 7. So it becomes 6, 9, 4, 7, 1. So if I see how many cases I have in the second case here is total number of ways I can form it as 17,496 ways in the second case, right? So I have first case wherein I select four balls out of one bag and remaining three boxes have two balls each taken. And in the second case, I can have three balls taken from the two bags and remaining boxes have two balls each taken. So 
Apart from this, there are no other cases. So I can find the total number of ways in which I can select this 10 balls out of 20. So if I add the total number of ways in both the cases, I had 4320 plus 17496. So 4320 ways plus 17,496 ways. If I add them all, let's see what I get. 6, 1, 8. So no, nothing is carried on here. So 7 plus 4, 11. I get the total number of ways as 21,816 ways. Then, right? So that is the total number of ways in which I can select 10 balls out of 20 with the condition that there should be at least one red and one blue ball taken out from each of the four boxes, right? So the total number of ways I can select those 10 balls is 21,816 ways. And if you see the options which matches in this question, let's see that. So the option which matches in the question is A. So the correct answer for this question turns out B, right? I hope you have understood how to solve these questions where you need to do the selections from the boxes where you need to pick up the balls. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can subscribe to my videos because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you. Thank you.